Hi, in this video, I'll share with you three quick tips on cropping pictures in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The three picture cropping tips you will learn today are how to crop a picture to shape, how to readjust focus after cropping your picture, and third, how to compress picture after cropping. Let us understand the first technique, which is how to crop a picture to shape. Here we have a picture which we are going to crop. The first step is to select the picture, go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Crop, and when you click on Crop, you get these options to crop the picture the way you want. And this is what most presenters are aware of. Do you know that by clicking on the small arrow underneath and going to this option called Crop to Shape, you would be able to crop the same picture in whichever shape you want. For example, if I go to crop to shape and if I want to crop this as say um, star in, under stars and banners, this option called as 24 point star, I can do so. I can click on that and immediately the picture is now cropped in the shape I selected. The best part is you still have the option to adjust the edges of the star by clicking on the yellow button here and dragging it outside like you would do to any normal auto shape. Interesting, isn't it? The best part is once you do the cropping, you can always change your mind and change the nature of the shape of cropping. For example, if I want to crop this in a plain circular shape instead of this star shape, then I can go to crop, go to crop to shape option and choose the oval option and now I have the same picture cropped in oval form. So you have full flexibility to choose the shape in which you want the picture to be cropped. Now let us go to the second tip, which is how to readjust the focus of the picture after you crop the picture. Now let me explain what I mean by this. Most presenters know that once you have a picture cropped, you can always resize it. But do you know that you can always readjust the focus? So instead of showing all these people here in the picture, I can choose to show only one person out of these four. Yeah, it is possible and all you need to do is to select the shape that you have cropped, then go to the crop option and that immediately shows you the way in which the cropping has happened. Now you can click on the picture and you can drag the picture while holding the shift button down and that allows you to readjust the focus. Now as you can see here, I have really expanded it and now I can move the picture so that I can get exactly whichever part of the picture I want the focus to be on and I can play with it and expand it for as much as I want so that I can completely choose the way in which I want the picture to show. Now you can see now I have worked with the same picture now, but this time instead of showing all the four players uh, of golf, I have chosen to show only the face of one person. Now I click outside and now you can see it is the same picture, but then we have a readjusted focus. Isn't that beautiful? Now let us move on to the final tip of cropping pictures in PowerPoint. Let us say I want to have a copy of the same picture. I'm going to press Ctrl D, which is the shortcut for duplicate. And in this case, I'm going to go to crop once again, and I'm going to change the focus. Maybe I can this time get the focus of the, this person here inside. And I can click outside. And now I have from the same picture, two different focuses. Now this is a convenient way to show a picture with focus on different people or different parts of the picture. But the problem with this is when you use an option like this, you end up having a very heavy slide. The reason is when you select this picture, even though it might appear like the picture is such a small one, the reality is the real picture is actually this big on your slide. And the same way when I have this picture, which is a copied version 
also stuck on the same slide i literally have two huge pictures stuck on one slide and naturally this slide is going to be very heavy and this will slow down the performance of your computer now how do we crop the pictures in such a way that we don't end up having such heavy files it's very simple i'm going to perform a simple operation called compress pictures first let me select the picture then go to format tab in powerpoint ribbon and i'm going to click on the option called compress pictures that gives me this pop up dialog box where i am given two options that is whether i want to apply the compression option only to this picture or to all the pictures in the slide in the presentation i am going to choose apply this only to this picture then i have this option called delete cropped areas of pictures and i'm going to check this one as well and i'm going to press okay now when i select this picture and go to the crop option you can see that the entire picture is limited to only this much now contrast this with this one when i select this and go to crop i have this whole picture which adds to the file size whereas in this case i only have such a small area represented which means the size of this picture is reduced thereby the heaviness of the picture is reduced correspondingly so i'm going to do the operation once again just observe as i do this i select the picture go to format tab in powerpoint ribbon compress pictures and i'm going to choose the option called delete cropped areas of pictures and i'm going to say okay and now this picture has a very small area and therefore much smaller size I hope you really enjoyed these three interesting tips about cropping pictures in PowerPoint. You learned how to crop a picture to shape, you learned how to readjust the focus after cropping a picture, and finally you learned how to compress picture after cropping so you can reduce the file size. If you want to learn more such simple and practical tips to improve your training presentations, I highly recommend Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. The program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. No other course or book teaches you the kind of advanced tips, tricks and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. You can learn more about the program by clicking on this no more button. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click on the button here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It is a totally free course and if you are a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss this course. I'll see you on the inside.